Pigs. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <coughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy, go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig, <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas and are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes. A big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. And some great news. The new Pepper Pig 2012 annual is now available to buy at all good retailers. <laughs> Brother John.
George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Lost Keys. Peppa and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the Mountain Beauty Spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You'll play with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. <coughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six... That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Paul and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Paul. Paul. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the Chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh... Where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha